Today we're gonna do something different, a little unboxing video. I just managed to buy a sound level meter Brillant Kjær 2209 and take a look at this beauty. Here's the box that it's got delivered in. Wow, take a look at that. What a beauty. And now, <laughs> for reference, just imagine that when I started to use the Norsonic 150, I thought this one was a bit large because it's, you see, it's my, my thumb. You can't really operate it with one hand. It's very difficult. <laughs> Look who's talking. Check the size. <laughs> this is like a baby sound level meter. This is this is a proper sound level meter, and it it's heavy. It's this one is extremely heavy. I I haven't weighed it, but <laughs> wow, wow, what a piece of engineering this is. I'm I'm really struggling to hold it. That's good. It's got this little a little handle here, so you can actually lift it, but. Wow, I must say, with regards to design, the old Brillenkjær wins, hands down. Sorry about that, Norsonic. This one is nice, but with regards to aesthetics, I don't think you can get much cooler than this. It's so, it's so old school and wonderful. So, it's got an external filter module here, so that you, you connect it here with this thing. <laughs> it's modular. And then this is an octave damn it's heavy. Octave band filter here. So you can measure one octave at a time. So I can imagine that if you're gonna do if you're gonna do uh, a whole sound level measurement, it's gonna take a little while to do it. If you're gonna do one octave at a time and then several measurement positions, one octave at a time. I wonder what a uh Sound insulation me measurement would feel like with this one. Just imagine the handheld, handheld sweeps. It's gonna be like Conan the Barbarian. It's gonna look thin compared to the acousticians that used this one. It's like ha ha it's like a dumbbell. I'm not kidding. I have to find a, a way and see, to weigh it and see how much it is. There are some other cool features with this one where you got the. Let's see if this works. Dynamic range. From what I can tell, it's like you have a dynamic range of 10. It's like 10 dB. <laughs> and what's this, what's this guy? 120 perhaps? So you've got 10 dB dynamic range, so that means you have to you have to select which range you're measuring. So you, you really gotta work this one. Unfortunately, I don't have any batteries, so I don't know if it works yet, but Chances are that it will work because it's like it's built like a tank and I'm very impressed with the condition of this unit because it This one there's hardly any scratches on it. It looks like it just left the factory yesterday and uh, How old could this be 50 years perhaps is it 1970s? I, I'm, I'm not sure it's way older than I am than I am <laughs> at least and wonder if you can mount it on a tripod. <laughs> this one is this one looks weak. I think you're gonna go into to photo and you know those one that the telephotography lenses have the huge strong tripods. That's probably what you're gonna need with this one. Actually, the selfie stick uh, thing is probably a good idea even with this one with an extension cable. And uh, yeah, what else do we have here? You can measure A, B, C, and D weighting. That's a bit interesting. <laughs> oh man, I really want to start this one up. Let's uh, hope I can find some some batteries. But you know, there's, there's this. Uh, we need these ones, and that that's not really what you usually have at home. This one expired in the year 2000, 22 years ago. I'm just so glad that it hasn't bulged and uh, caused leakage in in the unit because that would be done terrible disaster. Uh, it's also included a low pass filter type 5742 with a linear and 20 hertz. 
Oh, it's a battery in this one as well, perhaps. So maybe I have to open it. And... Let's hope that there's... It says battery check here. I didn't know that. I thought it was a passive unit, but... Okay. Then there's probably some... Some way to open this one. I don't really know. There is an instruction manual there, I can see. Also included. How nice. But then I guess the low-pass filter replaces this silver thing. So you get, like, clunk. Another unit that's sticking out on the side. On this one. <laughs> Things have really come forward quite a long way in, is it, 50 years. The calibrator? That one hasn't changed much, actually. This is pretty much what we use still today. But this one's got a really nice tan leather protective case. So with this one, you can look really, really stylish when you're out measuring. Actually, I think I have to change. I, I got a dark belt here, dark brown. So this one is a little bit of a mismatch, but it's, it kind of works. Maybe this is uh, this is a keeper to to get uh, cases for the for your measurement equipment that matches the the outfit that you're wearing. See the Norsonics, they go, go with black leather, so that's. Uh, a pretty safe bet, but uh, I think this one is a bit more, bit more interesting. It adds a little bit of flair and style, so I think th this one is, and the design is a bit more stylish as well. Like it, I like it a lot. And then it's also included in the box some, some gooseneck mount thing. Hmm, <laughs> that's interesting. And. Uh, What's this? I'm, I don't I don't even know what all these things are. Some kind of microphone preamp, perhaps. I have to read up on it. And then, of course, a little mandatory... I guess this is a calibration screwdriver, where you can turn some... Yeah, there we have a, a little hole. Gain adjustment. So you use a screwdriver to calibrate it, perhaps. So... Uh, I guess that uh, the modern day Norsonic should should work just fine. Given if we only had some batteries, we could find out if it's if it's still accurate. And I, I wonder what's the have to check out the specs on this one. I mean the the dial here it goes all the way down to you can. What's it called? 10 dB! So, I guess, is this like a class 1 sound level meter? From 10 dB all the way to 130. <laughs> That's quite, quite awesome! I'm really looking forward to, to trying this one. Let's just pray to God that it still works. That would be so cool. Would be... Such an amazing feeling to go out in the field and do a real, a real measurement with this one. Just imagine what my clients would say if I would show up with this one in the field. Okay, should we do some sound measurements then? Let's get to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually rocking the classics men's style with... Let's grab like a three-piece suit and a fedora. And this one. It would feel right at home! <laughs> it's so stylish! This ancient technology. I love it. I really love it. This made my day. This really made my day that I found this beautiful instrument. Wow. It's going to make a the perfect little showcase piece here here in the office. So I can place it in some, some somewhere nice that I can look at it and feel happy. <laughs> it's a piece of engineering culture, this. And, uh, yeah, things were really... Wow, what a difference it must have been to be an engineer back in the days compared to now. When you work with these devices, you really had to learn and understand what's going on. But yeah, well, I'll come back to this meter in some future video if I, if I can get it up and running. That would be quite exciting. So have a nice weekend and see you later.